Today we're going to take a look at reservation systems, which are a type of transaction processing system. Now, in the case of reservation systems, basically these conduct transactions where customers are purchasing a specific type of service, one that they actually need to book and that if it doesn't get recorded the booking, someone else might get that actual booking. So it's important that these reservations are done in real time. We can't wait till a later date because other people then have access to that same booking period. So scenarios where a reservation system may be used is for booking a hotel room. A customer rings, books a hotel room, they are slotted into a specific room and that room is theirs. That way when it's done real time, another customer doesn't ring five minutes later and get booked into the same room. The system needs to do the booking straight away. This could also be scenarios for seatings at specific events where people need to book for a concert. You may have booked tickets at Ticket Tech online and how quickly they book up. Okay, you need to record those bookings straight away so that they are recorded that specific seats are taken. So let's have a look at how this system may work in a context diagram. Basically, we have our reservation system and our customer contacts the system. They enter in their booking data and they may use a credit card for reference. So once they have re registered into the system, we then need to contact their bank. Now, some booking systems will actually do the financial transaction straight away, whereas others may just use the card as a reference to say that the customer can pay for the service and not actually take the financial amount until they've actually used the service. But either way, the customer contacts the bank, I mean the system contacts the bank, and then the bank will approve or decline the transaction. That will go back into the reservation system and if all is okay, the booking is confirmed. From a data flow diagram standpoint, we can look at this type of system in a variety of ways. So we have our customer and they are going to access the system. They will enter their booking inquiry. This booking inquiry will then be queried. So they'll put in all their data and it will be checked against the reservation database. The booking availability will come back and it will get returned to the customer. So that is just for checking it. We then, if there is a booking available, need to reserve that available booking. And if we want that booking, that needs to go into a, a through the bank again, where it gets approved or declined, just as we saw in the context diagram. Okay, and if all is okay, that will get locked into the reservation database and a confirmation will then be sent back to the customer. Okay, so that is now locked in. Now, with reservation systems, with a case-by-case -case scenario, some reservation systems may allow customers to check their booking details online and make sure that their booking was okay. So if a customer has forgotten what dates they're booked for and may need to put it in for a leave form, they can check their booking details. Now, if a customer finds out they've booked the wrong date, there may also be a feature to allow the customer to actually cancel their booking, okay? And then the customer actually selects delete, the reservation is cancelled, a confirmation of cancel is included, and perhaps a refund is given to the customer. And then this confirmation is sent back to the customer. So there's a few types of extras that have been put into this diagram for specific scenarios. So if you were going to draw a data flow diagram to represent a booking system, make sure you read what the scenario is saying. But basically, in summary, this is how a reservation system may work for a certain scenario.